Okay, so we are ready to start animating. I know, finally, right? Well, we had to take care of all that art creation stuff so that you knew how to actually create art in Flash. Um, I, I know a lot of people probably prefer the uh, uh, sketch method. If uh, you are an artist, you can scan in something you've sketched and bring it to life. It's really cool. Uh, the traced bitmap thing is very fast if you already have something that you want to animate. And then uh, to create art um, in Flash, uh, you know, Flash has a lot of nice tools uh, up here for creating art. So you have those those three different ways to create art, and we're going to continue to use the tools that we've talked about in the previous videos, but now we're going to move on to animation, which is sort of a completely separate part of Flash. So we're leaving the uh, world of uh, art creation and moving on. Okay, and this uh, is the first time we're going to start heavily using the timeline section up here. Um, we're going to anim animate a couple of different characters here. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, each character that we animate is going to need its own layer. And uh, so I'm going to uh, call this layer uh, boy for that first character that we drew from scratch. I'm going to click on this button to create a new layer. Double click there to type in girl. Okay. I'm going to uh, hide and lock the girl layer and select the boy layer. And you guessed it, pull our, uh, our boy actor over here. Uh, then I'm going to hide and lock the boy layer, unhide and unlock the girl layer, and that's right, big surprise, pull the girl over there. Okay, so uh, boy on the left side of the screen, girl on the right side, view both of them, unlock both of them, and that is what we get. So uh, the scene that I have uh, set up for us to do, very simple. Uh, these two characters are going to walk towards each other, except they're not really going to walk. They're just going to kind of float. And um, then uh, we're going to have a close-up on the boy, a close-up on the girl, and that'll be it for our scene. So um, what we need to do first is, in this timeline, we uh, currently only have one frame. And... Uh, so I'm going to go out here to frame 90 since it's visible to me and I'm going to select both of those frames simply by clicking on one and dragging down to the other or I can click on the bottom one and drag up and then I'm going to right click and click on insert frame simple enough but now we have um, all of these different frames in time okay uh, we're now going to click on the boy character with the right click and uh, what we're going to do is that first option create motion tween and you'll see up here that the uh, icon on the boy layer just changed to this motion tween icon and then also um, his layer became blue, a light blue. We're going to do the same thing with the, the girl character. Right click on it and I don't know why I keep scrolling down. But uh, that first option, create motion tween. And now you'll see that they're both these motion icons. <clears throat> and they're, both layers are blue. Okay. So uh, what a motion tween is, is it's a uh, recording of the symbol at a particular point in the timeline. Um, well, many particular points. And those particular points are called keyframes. And so uh, this uh, first frame is itself a keyframe. But then 
any keyframe that you want to add afterwards, you have to specify. So what I want you to do is go to frame 30, hold down the command key, and select both of those frames. That's important. You have to hold down the command key to select frames within a motion tween. So you have to hold that down and select both those frames. Uh, then you can right click and go to uh, insert keyframe and you can see the things that the motion tween records. It records the position of a character, the scale, the skew, the rotation, and even uh, color information and uh, filter information, which there won't be any in this tutorial. But uh, what we're going to do is we'll, we'll do all. Okay, so we just set some keyframes on frame 30. So now what happens is if on frame 30, which we're, we're on frame 30, we can uh, readjust these symbols. in whatever way we want. We can we can pull them to different places in space. Uh, also, if we do a free transform with the Q, we can make them a little bit larger. We can actually do that. Okay. And now let's see what's happened. If we go back to frame one, they're where we left them on that first keyframe. So that uh, that keyframe is exactly as we left it. Again, frame 30 is exactly as we left it. But in between, Flash has interpolated all of the animation necessary to get from frame 1 to frame 30. Okay. Uh, let's do another thing. On frame 31, hold down the command key and select those two frames. Right click and insert a keyframe. Again, insert a keyframe with all of those attributes. Okay. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. On this particular keyframe, I'm going to drag my male character completely off of the stage. And I'm going to uh, grab my female character and I'm going to do what will amount to an extreme close-up on my female character. So I'm going to really scale her up large on the stage. Okay, so this, this pattern you'll, you're going to see a lot where there are two keyframes right beside each other. You'll notice that on frame 30, that keyframe is still exactly as we left it. But on frame 31, it's completely changed. So if we do a, a preview of our uh, movie, we can do a uh, test, which the, the quick key for that is Command Return on your keyboard. It exports that movie and that's the result. You see that those characters moving towards each other, scaling up, and then a close-up on our female character. Okay, I'm going to close that preview. Let's come over here to frame 60. What we're going to do here is hold down Option. I'm sorry, scratch out. Hold down Command. And we're selecting two frames side by side across all the layers. Okay, so again, we two frames side by side across all the layers and we're going to freeze the state on all those. So you'll see that we have, in this case, created four different keyframes right in there. Okay, so if yours doesn't look like that, uh, rewind a little bit here. Okay, so on frame 61 now, I'm going to do kind of the opposite. I'm going to 
take my female character completely off the screen. Scale up my male character in the middle of the screen. So we had a close up on the female character. Now we have a close up on the male character. And so if I do a preview of my movie with a command return, they come together, close up, close up. Okay. And, uh, and that's it. That's how you set up scenes within Flash. So you uh, use these motion tweens and uh, you have these little patterns all the time of two keyframes right beside each other. And that's how you do it. And that is your intro to flash animation.